Hello friends, today I am going to solve lead code problem number 328, odd even linked list. In this linked list, we are given the head of a singly linked list and we are asked to group all the nodes with odd indices together and then all the nodes with even indices together and we need to return that reordered li list. So what does that mean is let me just show you in this example here suppose we have a linked list where um, there are these many elements okay so there are three elements um so the indices mean basically the first one always starts from the first node is zero the second is even and so on so this is our odd index this is our even index and this is our odd index here now what we need to do is we need to group together all the odd indices so one and three are grouped together and then we group together all the even indices so the even indices we only have one of those right so we group the even index together and odd index together and then the even index is followed by the odd index so we basically do this so the odd one the odd points to the even so even comes after odd so that is what we need to do here suppose we have um one more element here which is equals to four then this will be at even index and then uh the list of even index so our even in uh our group of even indices is two four and group of odd index is one three and then we again like um merge both of the linked list together where such that the odd index comes before the even indices so that is how we are that is what we need to do here now the question is how are we going to do this so let's look at how we could solve this problem so we have one two three suppose we have these three elements in the list we know this is our odd index this is our even index so we start from odd and even index and the next one we know is the odd index right after even uh, it um the it comes odd so basically what we need to do is the next of the odd should be this value right this value which is the next of the even right so um this is the next this value is the next of this even index right so we are gonna what we are gonna do is we are gonna the next of odd will be equals to the next of even so this becomes our new um, our formula so this is what we will get uh, when we do that and also we need to check for the even as well and for even the next of even if suppose there was one more element here suppose there was an element here four then this would be even then the next of even would be the next of this element right and for that this is actually an odd element so what we'll do is we will move our odd pointer so now our odd becomes equals to odd that next and in the next uh, in the same iteration but in the next step what we are going to do is now even becomes since our odd moved from here to here now our even becomes um, the next of even becomes equals to the next of the odd so even next equals to odd next so the next of this becomes equals to this the next of this was big equals to this so what we get here is one three and three is still pointing to four right so we actually get this value here and then two two is pointing to four so we get this here now in the next step again uh, we move our even pointer here so we move our even pointer to um, the next of the even and in the next iteration again we are going to repeat this whole thing but we are only going to repeat uh repeat the whole thing okay let's suppose there were one a few more elements here 
uh, I suppose a five and a six so uh, right now our odd index is here right and the even pointer is here so now the next of odd would be the next of the even value right which is equals to five according to this formula so the next of odd three points to five now so what happens here is three is not pointing to four here but rather three is pointing to five so we get this thing here and then um, we move our odd pointer from here to the next of odd which is this value which is five and then for even the next of even is equals to the next of the odd right so now our even points to this here and so the value here becomes equals to six and then we again move our even pointer to the next element now um since we have reached the edge the tail of both the odd numbers and the even numbers right odd index and the even indexes so there is uh, no need to for us to move any further because now we have reached the tail our odd is pointing here our even is pointing here um, basically uh, odd is still pointing uh, odd still has this value six here because the next of this is still pointing to six but what we need to do is now since we have reached the tail that is this should be the this is the end of the odd indices this is the end of the even indices so uh, we break our uh, loop so basically we break out of the loop and then uh, now what we do is we point our odd index to the uh, beginning of the even index that is the head so we actually need to keep track of this head initially so we um beginning of the even head of even so we point our odd and tail of the odd to head of the even so what happens is five five here which is the tail of the odd is not pointing to six anymore but now it's pointing to two here so what we get eventually is one three followed by five followed by two followed by four and then followed by six so this becomes our linked list here and here we have all grouped our odd indices together and then the even indices together and we return the head of the linked list here so let us dive into the code now so what we need is the odd index the head of the odd index which is the head and the even index which starts from the second which starts from the second node right so it will be the head next of the head and we also need to keep track of the head of the even so that we could um, later on uh, we could uh, point the tail of the odd to the head of the even so now while even we have the even index and the next of the even what we do is we find the next of the odd which is equals to the next of even and then we move our odd pointer to the next of odd and then now we find the next of even which is equals to the next of our odd and then even pointer we move our even pointer to the next value and then finally what we do is uh, the next of the odd must point to the head of the even and then finally we return our head let's run our code so the time complexity here is o of n and the space complexity is constant space complexity okay what happened here all right so we also need to check for um if the node 
head is empty because the number of nodes in the list could be zero so if we need to check for the base case if there is no head then we return null let's submit this great 